Do you want to know how you can make a mega legendary in one week? Watch the full video to find out how. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can make Megas and Neon really quickly in Adopt Me and how you can become a pro grinder. So without any further ado, let's just begin with the video. Okay guys, so my first tip is to have a grinding room or a grinding house. As you can see, I have a mini grinding room here, which has all the things that I will need to fulfill my pet's task. Yours doesn't have to be expensive or decorated like mine. As you can see, you can get a crib for only 5 bucks. So I re really recommend having a grinding room because like it will save you time from like going around the whole map and trying to find places where you could fulfill your pet's tasks. Anyways, let's move on to my next tip. Okay, so my next tip is to take advantage of two times weekends. The way you want to do this is make sure you're free the entire weekend so you can play Adomi as much as you can and make sure you have all the accounts and different devices that you can play on at the same time. Okay, so my next tip is to know where you need to teleport for different tasks. So for the salon, you can just teleport to the vehicles. Once you're at the vehicles, you just want to leave the vehicle shop and the salon will be right next to you. This is way more efficient than just walking around the whole map to get to the salon and it saves up a lot of time. So yeah, is there a place where you cannot teleport to, like the playground or something? What you can do is you can grab a hold a grappling hook and just grapple where you need to. If you don't have a grappling hook, that is totally okay. You can just go trade for them. They're literally worth nothing, so people will accept any offer that you give them. As you can see, I just got to the playground way quicker than you would if you walked there. Okay, so now if you want to go back to your house, what you want to do is you want to go to the top left corner and go to Roblox menu and reset your character and you'll learn right back in your house. Okay, so let's just move on to my next tip. Okay guys, so my next tip is to use a law. The reason you want to use a law is that you can easily get Egypt potions from here. You can also get bugs and I feel like getting a law is really, really useful because you can get bugs, pets and Egypt potions and it's totally worth the 750 bucks you spend on it because you're going to earn it back every four hours when the law gives you the bucks or Egypt potions back. So yeah. So yeah, I think I have a few more tips with you so Make sure you stay till the end of the video so you don't miss the most important tips. So my next tip is to always have a pet out even when you don't feel like grinding. So if you feel like trading a neon unicorn or something but you're making a neon black kite, what you want to do is you can just type in the chat and um, type in the chat like, oh, you're trading a neon unicorn while you have your black kite out. And I'm pretty sure Dombi has just released like the trading stand. So that's really cool. I can't really explain what it is in this video because that will take a little too long. But you can go ahead and check it out and adopt me to see what the trading stand is all about. So yeah, it's really important that you have a pet out so you can literally grind while trading. It You'll probably get like less offers, but that's still okay. Okay guys, so let's just move on to my next tip now. I'm just going to unequip it because I'm not actually making a neon black cut. So my next tip is that if you're like really busy throughout the day, but you really want to grind, what you want to do is you just want to go to dress up and you want to name yourself AFK and have your pet out. And then every 15 minutes, you can come back and see what tasks your pet needs to do, quickly do them and then go away with AFK again. It's a really, really useful tip and I use it all the time when I'm really busy. So yeah, those were all my tips. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, everybody!